The Supreme Court last week voted President Trump cannot block the release of his financial records from the Manhattan District Attorney. When America's Amanda Brilhanty spoke with an attorney and has more. In a 7-2 vote, the Supreme Court rules the president couldn't block the release of financial records in the Vance v. Trump case. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance is requesting eight years of President Trump's financial records in an investigation of alleged falsified records by the Trump Organization to conceal hushed money payments to two women. The high court's decision now grants New York prosecutors access to his tax returns. Attorney Michael Henry explained what this means and how it'll affect the 2020 elections. I think the court probably made the right decision here based on precedent for the last 230 years. Uh, the president's team basically or essentially argued that he had absolute immunity, not immunity from being investigated, but immunity from complying with the subpoena. Similar rulings have been made in regards to other presidents. Henry explained the other cases which were used to make the decision in the Vance versus Trump case. The court used three cases uh, mainly to make this decision. The first one was the 1807 decision where Chief Justice, uh, Chief John Marshall uh, forced President Thomas Jefferson to produce documents in the uh, treason trial of former Vice President Aaron Burr. The second was the 1974 case involving President Richard Nixon, where several of his aides were indicted, and he tried to use executive privilege to avoid complying with uh, discovery requests from the United States. And then the last one would be the, the case that mainly solidified this was the 1997 case with President Clinton being sued from Paula Jones. Meantime, the court also decided Congress couldn't see some of those records. Although President Trump tweeted his frustration with the ruling, Henry called it a win for the president. It's a win for multiple reasons. The first one is you're not going to see the tax returns prior to this election for uh, two reasons. The first one is there's going to be objections and, and some legal fights in the court. The, the second one is there's secrecy rules with the grand jury proceeding where they're not going to let these re records out. Henry went on to say, even though a judge does have discretion for a compelling reason to work around the secrecy rules, he doesn't think it's a compelling legal reason. He adds, there are multiple protections in place for the president. The court also noted that there's multiple safeguards in place for the president of the United States. They don't want an arbitrary fishing expedition. And they essentially noted uh, three main objections that the president uh, could make. The first one would be that this was a uh, this is a broad request, and that, that could be a strong objection due to the fact that they're making a discovery request for almost uh, documents going back almost a decade prior to the two alleged payments that they're claiming to investigate. The second one is that this is uh, being done in bad faith. Uh, everybody could gather that Cy Vance is doing this for political reasons, but you have to be able to make that legal argument. And then the third one was uh, under supremacy clause. You can make an argument for federal intervention on the basis that this is being done solely to impede the president. Vance also called it a win, saying it means the president isn't above the law. But Henry said it's only a political play. And for him, I think he's doing this to placate and pander to um, the more progressive voter base uh, in Manhattan. And I think it looks like he's taking on the president, who they all greatly despise. And I think this is just him talking politically. Legally, it's not really a, a win for him. Henry expects the case to become a new fight in the lower courts, which means they won't get released right now and are unlikely to be released by November. For One America News, Amanda Brilhanti. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.